Welcome to this video on how to create a logo for your business using Corel Paint Shop Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a logo specifically for the purpose of advertising your business on Facebook. A Facebook business page is a great way to grow and develop relationships with your clients and advertise for your company. The two key visual elements on a Facebook business page are the profile picture containing a logo or image that represents your business and a cover photo that showcases your product or service. First, open PaintShop Pro and make sure that the Edit tab is active. All Facebook profile pictures display as 180 by 180 pixel square images. However, Facebook allows you to shrink any larger square image down to size while setting up your page. In this example, I'll make an 800 by 800 pixel image with 200 dpi. That way, when customers click on the profile picture, they'll be able to view a larger image at higher resolution. Since white is already selected in the Materials palette, I'll choose the Flood Fill tool and right-click to fill a white background. Next, open any images that will be used in the project, such as photos or clip art. In this example, I will be creating a business logo to go on a Facebook page for an ice cream parlor. There will be two graphics used in the logo, and then the text will appear below. To copy a component onto the file used for the logo, open the image, and then from the Selections menu, choose Select All. Next, from the Edit menu, click on Copy, or you can use the key combination control and the letter C on your keyboard. Open the project file and choose Paste as New Layer from the Edit menu. The layer will appear in the Layers palette. If the palette is closed, you can press the F8 key on your keyboard to make it visible. Repeat these steps for any additional content that you'll be using in the business logo. Now we'll add some text. In this example, I'll use one of the Deja Vu fonts, as it's simple, clean, and easy to read. As a result, it complements the rest of the image nicely. Text can be resized after it's been typed by dragging out any of the corner handles on the text border. This image could use a little something extra. So I'll create a border around the image. PaintShop Pro has a variety of borders and frames to choose from, and those can be altered to work in various situations. From the Image menu, select Picture Frame. This frame has a lot of colors that I'm looking for in it, but it's a little over the top. I really only want to keep the edges. So first, make sure that the frame will be within the image. That way, it won't affect the size of the project file. And click OK to continue. As you can see, the frame appears in the Layers palette as its own vector layer, and it's already highlighted. By going to the Selection tool, you can choose a Rectangular Selection. Then, mark out the area of the frame you wish to remove. Next, hit the Delete key on your keyboard. What's left behind is this nice colorful border that makes the rest of the logo stand out. When the final project is complete, go to File, Save As, and save a copy of your image as a JPEG. That way, it will be able to be uploaded to Facebook. When you do this, you'll get a warning message, and this is because a JPEG file can only contain a single layer. Click OK to this message to continue. Remember to also save a backup of your file in a PSV image format. That way your layers will remain intact, making it easier to do minor adjustments in the future. With a complement and cover shot highlighting what your business is all about, you're sure to attract the right customers in no time. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a Facebook business logo using Corel Paint Shop Pro.